Hi, I'm here for the assistant position. I'm Glenn. Oh, Joey. Glenn, nice name. <laughs> C- come on in, Glenn. Tell me a little about yourself. Where are you from? Minnesota. Wow, your English is great. <laughs> uh, what kind of car do you drive? Oh, a uh, pickup truck. If I hire you, may I ride around in the back like a dog? Sure, you're the boss. Excellent. All right, let's get down to the serious stuff. Who would win in a fight between Dracula and the Wolfman? Definitely the Wolfman. What? No way. How? Because he'd fight Dracula to a draw until dawn, and then, and then Dracula would turn to dust, and, and the wolfman would just turn into a normal dude. I never thought of it like that. That changes everything. <laughs> Joey, where were you? You were supposed to help me clean up my garage a half an hour ago. Oh, Gina, I'm sorry. I, um... Uh, Hi, I, uh, I'm Glenn, and uh, this is all my thought. I was late for my interview, and Joey was just telling me that he was supposed to be helping you. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, thanks a lot, Glenn. You made me miss cleaning out her garage. <laughs> Such an idiot. Mm, yeah, stupid, stupid Glenn. <laughs> I'm gonna go make dinner. Okay. You want the job? When do I start? I think you already did. <laughs> hey, hey, good morning, boss. Hey. It's a late shoot last night, but you were great. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it was nice having you there. And thanks for running lines with me and getting me water and dealing with that crazy fan. Did she find your dressing room okay? Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, some girl Amelia called? Ooh. You want me to break out with her, but still leave an opening so you guys can sleep together? You just got yourself employee of the month. Hey. 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 Man, your sister's beautiful. Oh. You think I have a chance? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Gina, um, I think you're a really interesting woman. Whoa, and whoa, I... whoa, whoa. <laughs> you're working way too hard there, Glenn. You want to go out with this guy? I don't know. I don't know that much about him. Let me ask you a few questions. What kind of car do you drive? A uh, pickup truck. Oh, can we drive around and have Joey in the back like a dog? <laughs> I've already agreed to that. Will you take me to a nice restaurant? Do you need a salad bar? I am not the queen of England. <laughs> no, I know a place. All right, pick me up at 7. All right. Mm. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. That is my sister. If you do anything to upset her, you're going to get the beating of a lifetime. And then she's going to come after me. <laughs> Hey, Glenn, where have you been? I know, I'm sorry. Gina kept me out late again last night, but listen, I am here now. I'm all yours. All right, you got my schedule and my phone list? Oh, no. No, no, I left them over at Gina's. Oh, Glenn, hero to zero. Hey, you left these papers. I thought you might need them. Oh, good, my schedule. Great. No, Glenn, this doesn't make any sense. You got me bathing every day? What are you trying to do, dissolve me? Hey, will you get me a glass of water? It's all the way in the kitchen. Won't you miss me? I will, but I'll be liking the view. Oh, <clears throat> oh Joey, do, do you want something to drink? Yes, banana milkshake, please. I had to make it with skim milk. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I can't believe it. Glenn turned his cell phone off. I'll kill him for you. <laughs> He's over at Gina's. I bet she had him turn it off. This is ridiculous. I'm going over there. Glenn, publicity called to set up an interview. I need my schedule. Oh, I'll go get it. No, you are on a date. Well, I need it. He is not your slave. Glenn, tell her she's wrong. (laughs) Joey, why why didn't you call me about this earlier? Well, I tried to, but your cell phone's off. What? I didn't turn it off. I don't see how that could (laughs) have... Gina, you can't take an assistant's cell phone. That's like like taking a scalpel away from a surgeon. Except surgeons don't have to help my brother build forts. (laughs) You built a fort, didn't you? Come on, it's fun. It's been a little awkward having to share you with Gina, but I think I've worked something out that's in everyone's best interest. I'm letting you go. That's in my best interest? Can I have a job? Hey, I just lost my assistant. Let's not play the who's got it worse game. Wait, this is, this is crazy. I can do both. If you two could just be reasonable. <laughs> That's no never going to happen. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. I guess we could talk about a way to share him. Well, obviously, I'd get him during the week. That's fine if I can get him nights and weekends. Well, what about the holidays? Mm, you get him Thanksgiving, I get him Christmas. So actually, I have a family. Glenn, so. please. <laughs> Oh, and another thing, when you guys are over here, no kissing. And when we're out, no prank calling him. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we can make this work. Well, we should celebrate. Hey, Glenn, why don't you run down the store and get us some champagne? It's, uh, past five o'clock, so it's, uh, Gina time. 
Glenn, why don't you run down to the store and get us some champagne? <laughs> All right, so here's your schedule for today. Uh, and listen, you got a letter from a fan with a naked picture in it. I'm gonna need to see that. And it's pretty rough. Glenn, if a fan of mine went to the trouble to... <laughs> wow, he's here. Hey, sexy. Hey. hey. As her boyfriend, um, I'm actually gonna take that one. Really? <laughs> sexy? Okay. Right, so, oh, your sister Mary Teresa called. She's all set for a visit this weekend. Oh, that is this weekend. I can't stand her. Gina, she's family. Joey, my celebrity brother. Oh. And Gina, are you okay? <laughs> I'm tall and can eat whatever I want, so yeah, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Where's Mary Teresa? I have her laundry. You did her laundry? Well, she thinks I'm the housekeeper. I don't like conflict. Just please don't tell her that I speak English. Is that you, Alex? One moment, por favor, Miss Mary Teresa. I'm shopping again. Yeah, here's your credit card. Thanks for letting me use it. Well, thanks for taking it out of my wallet while I was sleeping. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs and finish redecorating. What? How was your day? Great, awesome. I quit. What? I've worked for some difficult people. Betty White put a cigarette out on my arm. On the way over, pick me up some marble cake and a carton of menthol cigarettes, any kind. <laughs> well, don't look at me like that. But your sister is by far the worst. I had no idea you were so fed up. You know, part of my job is pretending to be okay with people's crazy requests. So were you mad when I made you play hide and go seek at the mall? Only when I was hiding and you forgot and went to a movie. Mary Teresa fired me as your maid. What? Yeah, she found silverware in my purse and accused me of stealing it. It was mine. I was taking it back. I don't even know how it got here. Oh, oh, we borrowed it for British night. Glenn dressed up as a butler. We made him speak in an accent. <gasps> you hated that, too. You guys are so loud. I was trying to be creative. Hey, you don't work here anymore. No trabajo. Joey, check her pockets. <laughs> God, she is awful. You have got to tell her to get out of here. Maybe you're right. I mean, Glenn, I don't want to lose you. And Alex, you deserve a second chance. Leave her in the desert. Push her off a bridge. Dale con un coche. Uh, sorry, uh, hit her with a car. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Glenn. Yeah. Hey, Gina, Glenn's on the phone for you. Uh, she's not here right now. <laughs> yes, I did just say, hey, Gina. <laughs> because I call everybody Gina. Like, I'll have her call you. All right, bye-bye, Gina. What was that? Mm, I didn't want to involve you since he's your assistant, but things just haven't been working out for us. Why? He's such a nice guy. I know, he's too nice. You know, you know what it's like to be with someone who asks permission to talk dirty to you? May I ask you who your daddy is? <laughs> okay, so what, you gonna break up with him? That's Glenn. He kept calling, so I decided to bite the bullet and break up with him. Would you mind answering it and maybe sticking around in case things get a little rough? Glenn, we need to talk. Glenn, you, you truly are a nice guy. But things just aren't working out. Now I'm getting the nice guy speech. Wow. Even, even though I thought this was coming, it still hurts. <laughs> oh, no. Not the big eyes. Don't do this. What, what do you expect? You, you, you don't think I know what nice means? It's code for boring. I make you sick and I put you to sleep at the same time. <laughs> I don't want you to feel bad. How can I not feel bad? You hate me. No, I can't have you thinking that. Well, you're breaking up with me. If you don't hate me, what is it? Uh, hey, guys. Michael, he hates you. I barely talked to him. Yeah, and he noticed that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't be with a guy who gets between me and my son. Okay. Well, maybe if I... No, I already thought of that. It'll never work. <laughs> Come in. Hey. Oh, hey, Glenn. Joey's upstairs. Oh, uh, no. Actually, I'm, uh, here to talk to you, buddy. Do you have a math problem, or...? <laughs> no, no. I was just, you know, I was thinking, and we haven't really gotten to know each other, so I thought maybe we could go do something fun. Like what? If we left right now, we can make it to Disneyland before it closes. <laughs> can I go in Space Mountain? Sure. Will you buy me cotton candy? As much as you want. Congratulations, Glenn. You may take me to Disneyland. <laughs> Thanks so much, Glenn. Oh. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. 
Uh, what's going on? What are, you, what are you guys doing together? Oh, I wanted to get a little closer to Michael, so I took him to Disneyland. I thought we agreed to boycott that place. Mom, for the last time, they don't serve beer to anyone there. It's not just you, OK? <laughs> Besides, if me and my new friend Glenn want to go to a theme park, we'll go to a theme park or a planetarium, right? Tuesday, see you there? I'll be there. All right, you got it. No, 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 no. You got it. <laughs> I can't do this. What? Look, Gina, I really wanted this to work, but I can't spend another second with, with, with Mr. Wizard. I mean, who goes on a roller coaster and talks about parabolic velocity? And, evidently, if a real mouse had a head and ears that big, its neck would snap. So, I'm really sorry, but this is really over. Oh, God, I hear him coming. I gotta go. But mom, that's funny. I was right about what I was saying to Glenn before. Turns out the actual Pirates of the Caribbean, like in real life, would not have been chasing women around because they were like family men with staunch religious backgrounds. I have never loved you more. <laughs>